Welcome back to my channel. I have heard your request and today we're doing the infamous float serve. So if you haven't watched my overhand serve tutorial, I highly suggest that you master your overhand serve before you attempt the float serve. Okay? The float serve is my personal favorite because it is the most deadly and why it's the most deadly is because it comes right to your body when you're back row passing. So today we're going to talk about how to float serve. Let's get right into it. some steps that you already are familiar with like the bow and arrow except we're gonna change our toss and our hand just a little bit with the bow and arrow we start bow arrow toss and we step into it we're gonna add a jump in there because we're gonna add a small jump not a jump serve a small jump that's gonna help us get a higher angle for the ball to float over the net okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just practice doing our standing float. We're gonna work on our standing float before we add our jump in. So our standing float is just the hand. Now, in our overhand serve tutorial, in order to get top spin on the serve, you're gonna make your hand more of a cupped ball shape when we serve the ball. We're gonna follow through. With the float serve, we're gonna come up and then stop and then follow through. For example, the float, if you don't know what a float is, a float is when a ball has no top spin on it whatsoever and it floats over the net. Top spin is when the ball spins and it drops over the net, similar to a down ball. So we're going to work on just our floats. So before you start the jump float, you're going to work on the float. Just practice doing your bow, arrow, toss, hit. Okay. Notice how my hand was flat when I did that. I want to have the least amount of top spin on it as possible. Now, let's say you just mastered your float. Your float is mastered. You feel confident with your float. Your float's doing good. Perfect. Let's add in the step that I like the most, the mini jump. Now remember, let's pretend there's a virtual volleyball line back here. Now, with the jump float and jump serves, you have to jump from behind the volleyball line and land after the volleyball line or jump behind the volleyball line and land behind the volleyball line. You cannot start over the volleyball line when you're doing a jump serve, all right? So we're gonna start well behind the volleyball line and I suggest you really practice this. It's gonna take you a while to get jump loads. We're not gonna jump like we're gonna jump for joy. We're just gonna do a little hop, okay? There are two ways to do a jump float. My personal favorite is the one arm jump float. When you come in and you just, I had a little hop. Just a little hop. Bow, arrow, toss, hop. Okay? Bow, arrow, toss, hop. I had a small hop. The two arm jump float. The two arm jump float is when you toss it up and then you hit it. Now with the jump float, what's really important is the toss. With our normal serve, your toss can be a little bit higher. With the jump float, you want your toss to meet you right when your hand comes out because it's quicker. So we want to work on the toss right in front of you. Right in front of you. Because you're going to meet that ball time you jump up to get it. You're kind of jumping up to get the ball. Right in front of you. Okay. I personally like the one hand because it's what I'm used to. But some of you guys might like the two hands. But let's also, let's go back and look at the feet. Now one thing that I always say to my players is, it's called the creep method, okay? The creep. So you're gonna come up, creep, creep, jump. Let's do that again. We're gonna, let's try that again. One, 
two, jump. One more time. One, two, jump. Now when you're jumping, between that jump is where you need to be hitting the ball. Let's look at it in real time. Creep, creep, jump. Let's try it again. It's gonna take some time to practice this. Creep, creep, jump. All right. Now with the two hand, the two hand is just a little bit different. Same creep method. Creep, creep, jump. Now make sure with your toss with the two hand, your toss is right in front of you because it can get out of control. One more time. Creep, creep, jump. All right, now let me say something about the jump float. The jump float is more of a difficult skill to learn, especially if you're just now learning how to overhand serve. I highly suggest that you learn your overhand serve really, really well till you feel like you're getting consistent serves over the net before you start practicing your jump float. While jump floats are really deadly, I still want you to master one thing at a time. If you aren't following me on Snapchat, please do. I linked it down in the description box below. And make sure you subscribe for more videos. All right, I'll see you guys next time.